Welcome to Sterling Stocks. Today we're going to be talking about ticker symbol MMAT. I'm not a financial advisor, so do what you will with this information. Be sure to like this video and if you want to, subscribe to the channel. So today, overall, not a terrible day in my mind. Definitely not what we want to see, but holding up decently well, uh, especially with no volume as is and shorts not able to beat us down as much as they have in the past in my mind. Uh, we will have to see how the market goes. I expect pretty wonkiness and scaredness, timidness, uh, whatever you kind of want to say until that jobs report on Friday as we kind of touched on last night. So we're going to touch on this Gardner's Inc. talking about the growth of AR and medical applications in wearable products uh, here at the end of the video. Here first we're going to be talking about the Voltron DD from Exact Perspective 508 once again. Uh, new update here. We are in discussions currently. Me and uh, Exact are currently and we're looking into the Exact e ETFs that do own meta materials and possibly how they're hiding these naked shorts into these puts. The AMC guys are doing a pretty good job of covering so uh, we'll be giving more updates on this but we'll just get into the content that we have right now peter hand tonight i just want to make a personal comment on amc shorts managed to get amc off the threshold list we know that meta materials was on the threshold list since the merger was announced and then as well for a long time after it just here a, a, a couple weeks it got taken off there and we'll look into how they possibly did this just a little bit here tonight and more so uh in the next coming days as we dig deeper into these etfs but as i was kind of saying uh some of these a the, this content is comparable or is talking about AMC, but we think that we are in a pretty similar situation to these AMCs and the GMEs as well. Uh, so just keep that in mind when they do say making a comment about AMC. I think we are in pretty heavily sh shorted uh, manipulation type situations. So in my mind, it's pretty comparable. Not not clear exactly how this was done, but looks like exposure can converted from failures to deliver to outright naked shorts and then packaged into IW and ETF. So I have to do more research on these ETFs and exactly how they are doing this and exactly what they mean and make sure I understand it in full before I can give y'all exactly. Uh, but we will be looking more into these uh, ETFs that are owned exactly by Meta Materials and what they're doing with these. We know that these FTDs and the threshold list was right here on this June 28th and so on and so forth. And then they just kind of disappeared. So likely that they disappeared them into actual naked synthetic shorts and into these uh, ETF puts so we would just have to see but as we know we were on the threshold list on the threshold list and then boom just gone and these shorts have not covered in my minds in many other people's minds and they're just trying to trick us all at this point for a pretty big rock and roll time uh, and these failure to delivers did add up once again to those numbers that we have been pointing to basically since covering uh, torch in the earlier, earlier months of March and May and so on and so forth was right around the 32 million and, and those numbers for the torch was right around 30 to 40 main so still some naked shorts out being probably being packaged into these uh, ETFs and so on and so forth. So a lot of the trading has been done in dark pool for MMAT. If we look up here, dark pool trades were reported for MMT have accounted for 42% of the total volume today. Over the past 20 days, average dark pool volume has been 62%. So if we go back to this document here, the only selling is coming from shorts using the dark pools to mute buying pressure. The short ladder attacks from last week seem to have shifted to a numb inducing slow drip lower. And as once again, as of why I think this is comparable to your metas, we know that we have been a part of of both these type things the short ladder is just getting hammering down and now being a part of this kind of just slow inducing slow drip so uh in my mind very comparable S same situation to what we're going on uh we know that gary gensler has had a speech recently and he's looking to cha change some things around hopefully the, him and the sec and so on and so forth start enforcing things as meta material holders i know we all kind of got into this as we like the stock we like the tech uh, but now you're kind of in this thing as looking to change the stock market in a whole looking to get in that as a movement similar to the AMC situations. I mean, we're very comparable to, to that. I mean, basically everyone just wants the little guy to win and all, all we all we all want the same thing and it's basically more transparency and a fair market. So uh, in my mind, even if things get super rough, you just got to remember kind of uh, you're holding this either just because you like the stock or another reason why you could be holding it is because the type of movement that we're trying to enforce here on the stock market and that's get some more transparency and just overall a free trading fair market so uh that's just my opinion not financial advice of course trade at your own risk if you got to do what you got to do what you got to do to take care of yourself of course and they could always just manipulate it forever and always continue to win but i don't think it's ever been exposed exposed as much as it is right now like with your social medias and so on and so forth there's just a lot of exposure and even your fox news and stuff covers those amcs pretty heavily 
absolutely so uh especially if they're they're putting these puts in the etfs as we'll look deeper in later videos uh th that will be pretty <laughs> that's pretty big time manipulation and one thing that i do want to point out for more manipulation uh exact has this post here to clear up other misconception we will does not own the nasdaq level twos they are powered by the nasdaq the same exact uh, exchange that botched the SIG code in the CUSIP change. So in my mind, it's not these brokerages' faults. It's these big-time entities of the Nasdaqs and and probably the SECs a little bit helping out their hedge funds friends trying to get them out of this <laughs> uh, bad, sticky situation that they have been forced in. Uh, but no, no guarantees if it will happen. I think there's still about 30 million shorts that they will still have to cover. And right now, there's shows about 20 million, so th that would lead to right around 50 million. Uh, in my mind, Squeeze is still here. They're just trying to trick a lot of people. Uh, when talking about glitches and so on and so forth, this is from that D lawyer guy. Uh, he's a pretty big lawyer or something. Uh, he, he's a smarter dude than I am. Uh, big time on the on the GMEs and so on and so forth. But when he's talking about glitches, what he means is that either trades that were supposed to be filtered out or were not resulting in a display of trade that looks like they occurred outside of the M MBBO or to the market data system that messed up the processing data and is showing data out of order. So why we think that these aren't just glitches as exact kind of points out these are like minute longs and they're up there for a really long time and it never changes and it's it's often it's just not like once it once in a blue moon so in my mind manipulation is is it's heavy here and we know we match up pretty well with these uh, FTDs possibly getting switched over to outright naked shorts and packaged possibly into these ETFs. You're going to be looking more into that, but in my mind, they're just trying to trick you guys. This is a good stock. Even if it wasn't heavily shorted and manipulated, we know that we got plenty of potential, I do believe, just being the new first ever meta material stock. So uh, good things are on our way. And another reason why you could be holding is just to get more transparency and more a better free market. So if we look a bit, little bit here on this news from January, but Meta just tweeted about it tonight. Just a nice little tidbit. Worldwide end you user spending on wearable devices will total 81.5 billion in 2021 and 18.1% 18 .18 increases 6, 69 billion in 2022. Another thing is self-tracked COVID systems. We know that COVID or COCO is a pretty big thing. These smart patches is also a pretty big deal. Smart patches would be your non-invasive health and monitoring sensors uh, and metamaterials has those as we know. The Gluco wise uh, meter possibly can be put in some watches not expected this year maybe in the years to come we would just have to see uh, but we're definitely in this type of sector the shift to e-health especially during 19 will transform users perceptions of automated hand health provisions and increase the demand for smart patches uh, looking to be a big player in the smart patches the capability of embedded sensors is often determining a factor of the re reliability and usefulness of the wearable product uh, we know we can make some pretty efficient stuff Gardner predicts that by 2024 mi miniaturizing capabilities will advance to point that 10 percent of all wearable technologies will become uh, attractive to the user so hopefully a much bigger field and just expanding and we hope to play a pretty big role in that because we knew we do have uh, proprietary ip and tech being protected and so on and so forth so like i said going to be looking more into these etf puts and what they possibly have done with these naked shorts that we still are out basically the the main point i want to drive home is i think there's still manipulation i think they're still going to have to cover out at some point i can't put a timetable on and of course i think it's silly for anybody to put any type of timetable on anything we know we got earnings coming out and hopefully after that we see some pretty awesome news from the meta team and so on and so forth that earnings is expected on august 10th i do believe so uh, just be aware of that. Like I said, uh, manipulation is here. You can be holding just because you like the stock, just because you like the tech. You can now be holding because the manipulation and you want to see a fair, transparent market in the uh, New York Stock Exchange. So we would just have to see. I do think... Uh, better things are coming because gary gensler is looking to change some things around can't guarantee it of course but even if the manipulation doesn't stop i still think meta material sees way better days in its future it's just going to be based off the shorts timetable or whenever we get some news uh from meta materials and causing that squeeze them up of course because i think meta materials is jam-packed with some news another thing to look at is if this manipulation and these these guys do end up getting margin called and so on and so forth one thing that could be possible that you might look out for is big tech falling because they they're in all these big blue chip stocks your apples your amazons and so on and so forth so they could be forced to sell off those and buy your metas buy your amcs and buy your gmes and so on and so forth so here in the next couple weeks to months we could see a pretty wild market can't guarantee it of course but this is a scenario where they start getting these margin calls and you see the big blue ch blue chip tech stocks go down and you see your memes your metas your amcs and your gmes just really start to skyrocket if this manipulation is true and it's all there uh and they start getting forced we know that there's been some rules 
homes uh, recently enacted but not necessarily enforced yet if they start enforcing them uh, i expect some pretty big things and they will they will help out the retail investor in a big way and we will just have to see if more and more changes are coming uh hopefully so can't guarantee it but i am a believer that it's been so far exposed to the public nowadays it's kind of hard to uh kind of pull the the cart curtain back on these things we'll just have to see uh but i believe in materials long term either way even if the market gets pretty crappy here in the next week with uh your fears of the overall market and so on and so forth jobs report and possibly doing that tapering as the fed has kind of spoke on so uh even if market got pretty wonky still believe in meta materials long term i will still be here i just might see rougher season not as green in days until we see some juicy juicy pr and then possibly once we see market start going way down we could see them get margin called and we could see a bit of a rip, rip and roaring going on and we could see some blue chips fall so a lot of scenarios i can't predict it i don't know what's going to happen basically i just know that the manipulation is here in meta materials and a lot of other stocks uh going to be looking more into these etf puts and seeing if i can give uh some better insight on that but uh yeah i appreciate all y'all be sure to like and subscribe and i will see y'all tomorrow